What's going on guys, Jetons here, and today we're going to talk about Smite production. Uh, specifically, how to um, set up custom audio lines. Um, pretty much um, casters, camera, so in this case, casters get uh, the view of whatever. Um, the observer checks, um, so you're pretty much controlling the camera for the casters. And pretty much how to improve quality of stream. So here's what we're going to have to do. We have a few setups we need to do. First is a uh, virtual audio cable. So I head over to google.com, virtual audio cable, virtual audio cable, and go ahead and click on the first link and go ahead and download uh, this. Um, you kind of need two audio cables. So in this case, I would recommend getting the two audio cable one um, where you have A and B and this is donate so like it's literally minimum $5. I kind of would want you to get this um, because it will improve the quality of stream. Now we're going to go ahead and set that up. So once you have it downloaded and installed, um, which I really don't need to go over, I assume everyone's downloaded and installed something before, um, go to your recording devices, find your audio cable, so A and B, go ahead and click on properties, Listen, click on listen to device and set this to your headset. Do the same thing with your second audio cable. What we're going to end up doing is we're going to dedicate one audio cable to game, one audio cable to the casters. So assuming we're using Discord here, um, we're going to use Discord. So go ahead and open up your Discord, go to user setting, voice and video, and set this to whichever audio cable you wanted to be the caster's audio. In this case, uh, minus B. So I have it set to caster's audio B. And go ahead and open up Smite. Should have thought about this ahead, but did not. Um, we're gonna set our Smite audio to A. Pretty straightforward, two audio lines. Cool. Now let's talk about um, how we're going to do caster's feed. So this is where it requires a little bit of finesse because um, you kind of do need a beefy computer. In my case, I will be using um, a Ryzen 2700X and uh, RTX 2080. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, set this audio cable up real quick. So like I was saying, we need to do a caster's feed, um, and we need to do one for do uh, and do a recording. So I'm gonna go over how to record versus live stream. So in my setup, I usually do recording because um, it's much easier to manage. Um, it's nicer to have. So let's go over the OBS settings. So first of all, you need a mixer account because we're we're literally gonna abuse the mixer FTL. Um, this is for the recording setup. Uh, pretty much, Mixer FTL lets you have a sub-second delay um, to stream with, and cool, perfect, that works out. You know, that that means casters can watch, and we don't really have to do much. But the trick is to set up audio lines. So go ahead and create a Mixer uh, account, set up your service FTL. I'm not really going to go over it. I assume you know how to stream and set up basic this. Next is output. So in my case, what I did was I dedicated my graphics card to streaming for the caster's quality, of uh, caster's feed, sorry, and my recording to my CPU so it can record the game and the caster's audio. So as you notice, um, my caster uh, streaming audio track is four. Keep that in mind, because four is dedicated to just game audio for me on uh, my audio setup that I'll go over shortly. And on recording, I have it set to, uh, I have it record all four tracks and make sure to use MKB format because um, it separates audio tracks and re for recording, this is generally nicer just in case you have any issues. And I'm using a higher bit rate record because quality. Um, this quality versus this quality is gonna be different because it's using my processor and I'm dedicating more bit rate to it pretty much. So let's talk about um, audio channels, right? I'm going to go ahead and create, for example, I'm going to create an all audio. So in this case, I have caster's audio. I have 
game audio and I have I have music um, yeah so these are three audio tracks so one we don't want our casters to listen to music when we're in break there's no point in that we just want them to hear um, the game so let me go ahead and go to the advanced audio property and let's look at the tracks so in my audio track one I have all the audio recording on one track on two I have just the game audio this is definitely wrong this is supposed to be a two. <laughs> Apologies. Um, game audio at two, caster audio at three, and music at four. So what that's telling me is it's going to record everything on audio track one. So all the audio, one file, one audio track is one. On audio track two, it's only going to have game audio. On three, it's just going to have caster audio. And on four, it's going to have music. So what does that tell us? So when we're streaming, when we're streaming, it's going to be just streaming audio track true audio track two, and that's only going to stream the cast uh just going to stream the game audio because the casters need the game audio, and it's not going to stream the music. It's not going to do one, three, or four, just two where we have game audio. That's all they need. Perfect. So when we're in this break, we're not going to have music uh, that the caster is going to listen to, but in our recording, we're going to have that. So that's audio tracks pretty much set up. Perfectly safe. Just go ahead and hit start streaming. Um, and, you know, easy peasy. So let me go ahead and double check. Cool. Let's go ahead and start streaming. And I want to show this to you guys. Since I'm using FTL. And we don't want the mobile version. And let's do a window capture just to uh, showcase that we do have indeed. Not what I want. And if the stream wants to go live, that would be fantastic. Hold on, as we troubleshoot on why this doesn't want to go live. All right. Notice how the, that's not right either. Oh, there we go. Now FTL is enabled. That's weird. Okay, either way, let's just take a look. I guess it took a second for FTL to get to enabled. Notice how this timer is almost real time, right? Let's just look at this timer real quick. 10, 11, almost nearly real time. And that's kind of what we want. So pretty much if I hit on mute, we're not gonna hear um, music, but if I enable this to be on the music track, boom, music. See? So it's just streaming the game audio. That's what we want, and that's what we got. Perfect. So let's go. That's just a test, and just this is just to show you guys how this works. FTL, fantastic. So what we want to do is we did notice about a few millisecond delay. So we want to adjust for that. So if you go to our caster's audio, again, back to advanced audio property, notice I have the sync offset 250. We wanted to have this light offset so it matches with the game when we record. Um, you could just set it to zero and fix it in post-production. That's fine, but it's much easier if we do it here. Um, really, you don't even need to go for post-production edit if you really want to. Um, so yeah, 250, perfect. Let's talk about um, how to just, this is the setup entirely. And you just click start recording. Um, you go through scenes, um, et cetera. But this is gonna be a little more complicated. 
So what if we want to do a live feed? So if it's a live tournament, we don't want to record. Um, what are we going to do? Well, this is where it gets really intensive. We need to open up a second OBS. Uh, <laughs> so, the, so go ahead and launch a second OBS. Um, in this case, I'm going to call it Scene Collection Caster Speed. And we're going to do something called NDI. Um, pretty much what that's going to do is we're going to have a scene. So I'm going to stop streaming. We're going to have the same mixer setup on this uh, profile as well. We're going to have game capture on this. Game. So we're going to go ahead and select Smite. Then we're also going to have the audio. Um, this is not nearly as high quality. Um, this won't be as high quality. Um, you could try something like Restream FDL, uh, but I haven't really experimented with it, and NDI has such low, much lower um, latency, and this is going to be our game audio. All right. So now, uh, also keep in mind to download the NDI, uh, OBS NDI uh, plugin. So this is fairly easy. You just download it and put it in your, uh, just follow the instructions. I'm not really going to go into it. I'm looking more into the actual production setup. Um, pretty much what we're going to do is go to tools, NDI output settings, and main output. So, and in our general feed, we're going to disable game audio and smite, um, cause in this case, we're not using it. This is a dual OBS setup. Um, we're going to do NDI source, click okay. And we're going to find our desktop. So this is caster speed, allow harder acceleration in my opinion. Um, should be loading up right now and perfect. This is also real time ish. Um, again, really a slight millisecond or off. Um, again, not a big deal. Um, but again, this is another setup that you could do. And pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to have stream this to FTL mixer FTL this this one that's also outputting the NDI. So it is going to be computer heavy. And you're going to have this one also set up to stream onto whatever channel you want. So in this case, you're going to set all of this back to audio track one, because um, streaming can only be done in one track. And this is not going to have casters audio. So you can stream this right away to the casters. And this one is just going to have, um, this one is going to have the casters audio. This does not have casters audio. This has casters audio. So that's the big difference. This is going to have casters audio. And you're going to, really, you're just going to hit start stream on this. Um, and you're just going to keep it minimized and forget about it and control everything with this OBS. Same as before, um, except this is on a live environment. So we're no longer recording. Um, so you see why this is more intensive. This we're going to use NDI, uh, which is heavy. Then we're also going to be streaming, and we're going to be record, uh, and we're going to be uh, streaming on two platforms, pretty much. So it's three different resources we're using. So we're, in this case, uh, I'm using NDI and streaming on my graphics card. So this is going to have my NVNC setup. And I want to be streaming with my CPU. So like I said, this is really computer and internet intensive. So um, if you don't have the setup for it, you can't do it. And I would really recommend just doing with the recording because you're really streaming and recording. But again, um, so you should be able to stream at least a little bit um, if you have small internet and still be able to record if you have a beefy computer. Um, you can use both uh, GPU and VNC to record. Um, but again, the usage is going to be high. Um, it's just, I'm already at 37, 35%. And if I had start streaming, that's going to go higher. So we need to be, like I said, really intensive and that's what we're worried about. So yeah, that is a setup, but now going back to this, where we're going to ignore that, go back to all that. Let's talk about quality of how to have a nice mic stream. Well. We want to have a nice background, you know, add some animation loops. Um, these are pretty simple. You can uh, literally add filters. In this case, I have a black and white filter on this generic video. Our 
overlays are slightly transparent so the video kind of bleeds through and we have a custom picks and ban screen so this is something i do provide and it's fairly easy to use um i did make another video on it so i'm going to link you guys to it so this does look way better than whatever high-res provides and would you look at that much better we're gonna have you know clean uh, transitions to our game um i'll also put up the uh after effects file for this transition um honestly I'll, or i'll link to the video that i found uh this transition for um and just utilize it on my own way and we're gonna have a post game graphic so have these graphics ready um for stream because that's what you want um the last thing i want to do is set up instant replay right we want to have a quality of stream in this case we want in this case, I think replays are a really great way to showcase um, the stream. So to set up that up, we're going to go to settings, output, replay buffer, go ahead and enable replay buffer. And in my case, I use 30 seconds. Um, and your hotkeys, I use the little tilde button looking thing um, to save replay. And if you go to advanced, um, notice how I have my replay buffer file name to replay and I overwrite. So what that does is, anytime I click that button, any file that's already saved gets overwritten. So for example, let's go to this. Let's go ahead and start replay buffer. I'm gonna give it a couple of seconds because um, we wanna because we just saw what file was saved earlier. Because um, we did see this, this this replay. This is from a different tournament in the past. It just was cached into the folder, saved there. So nothing's been overwritten. I'm going to go ahead and switch back over to break. Um, has it been 30 seconds yet? I wasn't keeping track. Either way, um, it's going to be a little bit shorter, I assume. I'm going to go ahead and hit the tilde the button. And it should save the replay buffer. So if I go over to instant replay, boom, there's our replay. Um, so what does this tell us? Uh, well, it tells us we have a replay. Um, and pretty much, let me show you guys what I did with this replay. So go ahead, I'm gonna do this new scene replay. Replay. Oh my God, I could've sworn I put replay two. And go ahead and add media source. In this case, it's gonna be a replay video. Um, as you notice, I have it as replay recording because that's the file name. Um, okay, cool. Then I'm going to add, add an image that says replay border. Um, again, not really. it's really up to you. And I'm going to go ahead and center this um, replay border. This needs to be centered first. Boom. Well, that failed miserably. So yeah, I have this. I'm going to put this video on loop. I'm going to have my transition video because why not? It looks cool. Um, I'm going to put it right underneath the border. And I'm going to also have this on loop. I'm going to lower the speed a bit because notice how the video was froze for a second then played. So what we want to do now is just crop it. If you hold down alt, you can easily crop this. If you guys didn't know, oh, I did not press alt. And the reason I'm going with square is, uh, because wide, widescreen 1920 by 1080 or 16 to nine aspect ratio causes a problem where it takes too much of the screen size and it's hard to see the replay. So we just want to see the action. So I'm going to go ahead and group this and I'm just going to shrink it. Um, and this is pretty much what I did. Um, with the replay um, and I would add a scene that is my game scene and this is pretty much the thing oh and if you're wondering how I did the motion again another cool thing uh, just go to scene filters and there's a plugin called motion filter OBS motion uh, plugin motion effect download the same thing like I said um, and let's just go over it in my case, I would add a motion and I would have select the group because that's what the group is called. Um, I would have it on scene switch 
and I would grab my destination. Destination grab. It's supposed to grab my destination, but it's not for some reason. That's fine. Um, and I would have it start at 2000 and it would just end up here by the time um, I hit play. So just pretty much just type in the destination because it was supposed to automatically work, but there we go. That's not supposed to be right. Um, it's supposed to automatically work, but oh, there it is. So I would have this set to 572 and it would start from 2000. So if I go from, bam, rolls right in. And it just kind of disappears afterward, uh, after it's done. And I do that by going to advanced scene switcher. Again, another plug. I don't know why I keep closing this out. There we go, advanced scene switcher. Go ahead and download that as well. Um, what I have it do here is my scene sequence, I have to go from instant replay to game two because I do have my game two as a custom transition um, after 25 seconds. Keep in mind our files are like 20, uh, 30 seconds, but because how recording works, it's, you know, we're having this and our file played. So I have all my transition override here as Stinger, including game, game, um, but game two is the same thing as game, but the transition is cut because we don't want to go from this to this because we have a transition playing and I don't want to deal with that. So I have it automatically switch over to um, game two after 25 seconds. And it's fairly easy. So it just does this, then goes to game two where the transition is cut. So we don't have a whole new stinger play pretty much. And that's about it. I mean, this is how you have a quality stream. Um, so we have a lot of setups here. Um, so I went over uh, recording and giving a caster's feed. Caster's feed is really important because, like I said, casters don't control controlling their own camera, distracts them, um, and it's difficult to learn being the observer. Um, there's going to be a video out on Spectator regarding that, so be sure to kind of tune in because it is pretty cool. Um, we talked about picks and bands, custom picks and bands screen. Uh, I have another video on it. Uh, it's a little outdated, but it's fairly simple. Um, adjust scores or change to verses, really simple. We talked about custom audio lines. So we have clear audio. Um, so we don't really bother the casters but by listening to their own cast um, while the stream is going on. Um, so yeah, we covered all this. This is all the cool stuff. Um, thank you guys for tuning in to this video on pretty much this crazy OBS setup that does require you to have a uh, decent internet and kind of a beefy computer. But again, this is doable even without a super beefy computer um, to stream and record, even, including just using the same recorder if you have a really good graphics card. So yeah, experiment with this. Um, this is a crazy setup. The, this is by far my favorite setup because casters, like I said, don't have to control their camera. Um, you have clean audio lines. Um, who's in Discord, you know, it's kind of safe to use. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. I shall see you guys later.